and now let's make find the words para sa mga estudyante nyo yung mahilig sa mga salita or ma mahilig sa crossword puzzles, this would be a really helpful activity to gain their interest sa inyong klase. So, the same process. Add an activity or resource and then go to activities and then H5P. Name the activity. There. So after you have put the description, there are the grades and all. Then tags. Mm, we'll adjust this later on. So let's now make the H5P activity, find the words by going to the package file area and then the sentence below the box, use the content bank to manage your H5P files. When you click on opens a new window, you will be directed to the editor itself. So it's yung content bank, right? Pag kinlik mo tong add. Ayan. Let's choose to find the words. And then we will start to make the activity. So, kailangan may title siya definitely. Okay, so areas of the brain. Same. I think ito lang din yung gusto kong instruction. Ayan. Dito makikita natin sa word list, right? Comma, separated list of words, special characters, white spaces, and numbers are not allowed. So, kagaya nitong example na nandito, ganito dapat ang inyong format. Okay? So, kunin ko na yung mga words na hinanap ko. So, we have here, okay, occipital lobe. Kailangan walang space. Now we have temporal lobe. Parietal lobe. Basically, kailangan mo lang dito ilagay yung mga words na gusto mong mahanap ng estudyante. Okay, we have cerebral cortex, and then cerebellum, then we have hypothalamus, we have the thalamus, Pituitary gland. The pineal gland. Again, remove the space. Otherwise, it won't work. Then we have the amygdala. Well, as many words <laughs> you can think of. The hippocampus, and the midbrain. Removing the special characters. Okay, there we go. So these are all the words that I want the students to find. Okay, so ito sa baba naman. Oh, it has an invalid. Okay, or a forbidden character. Okay, let's see what's that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to remove this one. All right. So dito sa baba, so um, A to Z. Okay, we have here the orientations, no words, right? So lahat maganda may tick or lahat ito ay present para mas maging mahirap hanapin ng word. Okay? So, ito yung pool of letters. Pwede namang lahat ay letter A lang, lahat ay letter B, but since gusto ko na mas nakakalito, lahat na ng letters ay available. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo ba nag-overlap, may vocabulary sa tabi, kung strict ka, sila na lang mag-isip kung ano man, then you can remove this. Show solution, retry ayoko, <laughs> and enable or show solution mo sa kanila, ayoko rin. Right? So, bahala na sila. Bahala na mga sadyanteng maghanap. So, text overrides and translations. Again, yan. Mga words na gusto mong palitan. Anong gusto mo para sa retry? Siyempre, kung Tagalog ang tinuturo mo or the Filipino language, then you may change this. But if it's something else, then only the available language here is English. You might want to consider and putting your own or putting your own there but this is basically it ganito lang ka simple yung find the words and let's try to save it